Are you gonna do my makeup? Cool. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I am starting this video off barefaced because as you can see by the title, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different, a little bit strange. Um, I'm going to let my puppy choose my makeup. I was scrolling on Twitter and I came across this tweet from Kathleen Lights and it mentioned about letting her dog choose her makeup and I was like, yes. I am doing that because Rosie loves my makeup bag and just the dressing table in general. like. The amount of times I'm like, Rosie, down, let go. Rosie, no. Like, she loves it. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be a bit different. Rosie, what's this? There you are. <laughs> I'll come for the food. You gonna say hello? You're so heavy. She is so confused right now. I've got a mirror here if I wanna do my makeup and she's like looking at the mirror, looking at the camera. Come on. Boom. <laughs> you look so unimpressed. Did you not like that? Can you see yourself? She doesn't like the light. I've got a huge light here. She's, she doesn't like that. Are you going to do my makeup? Are you going to make me look nice? Yeah? What are you thinking? <laughs> She's just staring at herself. Staring at herself in the mirror now, aren't you? Is that you? Hey go. Should we get started? I've already got the foundation out and she's like, ooh, I'll jump up. <laughs> I'm gonna film a second clip on my phone because I think that's the best way that I can get like her in shot as well without having to move the camera and set it up again every time. So the foundations I have picked is the Revlon Colour Stay, the Rimmel Match Perfection, this one which I really hope she doesn't pick because it does not sit well on my skin at all, um, is the Max Factor Soft Resistant Makeup. And the Maybelline, um, does this have a name? Oh, the Maybelline Superstay, the lid is on the wrong way. Yeah, so I also kind of hope she doesn't pick this because it's kind of not the right colour for me when I don't have a tan. So basically, if she picks these, any of these will be okay. Mm, these, not so much. <laughs> Okay, so sadly for me, she went for the Maybelline one. This is actually a really nice foundation. It's just gonna make me a bit orange. <laughs> if I keep looking over here as well, it's because I've got my mirror there so I can use that as well as the viewfinder just to make it a little bit easier. I don't know if you can see on camera, you can definitely see in person like how orange. This is gonna be, seriously, look at that line where I'm my natural skin color all up here and then this. Cool. Aside from the fact I literally, it looks like I have zero features on my face right now. I don't think it looks too bad. Um, looking at the viewfinder, it looks like very pale. So I don't know what it looked like when I edit it back. I mean, it's not pale in person, um, but I don't think it looks too bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and powder my face. When I, um, when I moved out, I had quite a big clear up of my makeup, so I only have um, the one powder at the minute. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that, and then we will carry on. I will get my puppy back, who has disappeared. So. Hello, right on cue. Okay, so for contour, like I said, I had quite a big makeup clear out. So what I use for my contour at the minute is from the Sleek palette, and I use this one here. But... Just to mix it up a bit and give more options, I'm going to throw in the Collection Bronze Glow and the Rimmel Natural Bronzer and I will contour with one of these if she picks it. Hopefully that the black rectangle will be more interesting to her, hopefully. Let's see. <laughs> She is good. She has picked, as you saw, the Sleek palette. So I'm gonna have normal contour, which is great because the other two, using them as like a defined contour instead of a, a, a quick bronze, they look very harsh. And it's like I've literally gone in the mud and just been like, whoop. Okay, we are all contoured. Next up, 
We are gonna go for highlights. So I have got the highlight that was in the Sleep palette, the amazing Sofa Revolution palette. Please pick this. And the Barry M Cosmic Lights palette. Now I did do a video on this, um, and if you watched it, I did not really enjoy this palette. It just wasn't, it wasn't for me. It wasn't working. This one is actually a good highlighter. Either of these two would be great. Not this one. Let's go. She was having kind of mixed feelings there. It was this one, but then she kind of touched this one and then her head went back to this one. So I'm gonna use this one. There's a little bit of this on top, but okay. I think I think that's how we're gonna how we're gonna have to do this. I'm going to be using this one here because that is the powder highlight. I just don't I just really don't like it. I, on camera it might look okay, I can't, can't quite tell from this distance, but in person, in the mirror, it looks, I just, it just looks really bad on my skin, I don't know if it, I don't know if it is just my skin or, I don't know, I just don't like it, it, can, it just kind of looks like eyeshadow, it doesn't have, it doesn't like blend into your skin and it looks like I've just got pink eyeshadow and whacked it on and thought, yay, highlight, pop a bit on my nose. Wow, that is really popping. And then, I'm gonna use a bit of this one in the corner because it's one of my favorites. Put a bit more on there. Okay, so for my eyes, I have three choices. We have got the Naked 3 palette, the Naked 1 palette, and the Sof Revolution palette. So either, any of these are gonna be fine. Dark Horse, okay, pick another one. Gunmetal, really? I don't think they're gonna go together. One more from this side. Book, okay, okay. So as you just saw, she picked the Naked palette. Um, I'm, not, I'm not too convinced on the shade choices, but never mind. there was Dark Horse, Gunmetal, and Book. I was kind of hoping for something a bit lighter that I could put in the inner corners, but never mind. I, I'm just gonna put book across the whole thing just to just as a, a base. Now I've got that, we're gonna go in with the dark horse and just pop that sort of like in the middle and then working outwards. I have not blended it out yet, so just bear with me. I'm gonna pop a little bit of book back in the inner corners. Yay, time to ruin my brush by sticking a freaking dark colour on the end of it. Put a teeny tiny bit on and I'm just gonna pop that right on the outer corners and working into the crease. Just blend that out, it's kind of turning into a bit of a smoky eye. For eyeliner, we have got the Soap and Glory Supercat and the Bourjois Liquid Eyeliner Ultra Black. We have got these two, so I kind of prefer this one. Soap and Glory Supercat, it is. So next up, we are gonna do mascara, and I've just realized I've got two Maybellines, but never mind. I've got the Maybelline La Sensational, the Maybelline um, Colossal, and the George by Asda Pool Party. Um, I bought this when I wanted, when I was recreating my high school look. So it's, it's all right. Let's see. <laughs> She picked the best option, in my opinion. She is down here now. Do you wanna come back and say hello? Cause you've been doing a lot of work in this video. No, she just wants to look out the window. There we go. Hi, do you like my face? Do I look nice? So far, so good. So you may have noticed, I have yet to do my eyebrows. Now I thought 
I would save the best for last because I'm going to switch it up a little bit here. I was going to give her different, um, different brand products to choose from and you know, it kind of would have turned out okay, but what I use at the moment is a mixture between um, a shade from the Soap palette and the Soap and Glory Archery pencil. So I usually do a mixture of the two. Instead, I'm going to let her choose the colour from the Soap palette. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This might not be like the best decision to go with. But we're gonna, it's gonna make it a bit more interesting, you know. I might have red eyebrows in the next minute. These two here, I usually use for my eyebrows, but today, today Rosie is gonna decide because why not? <laughs> purple, are you really? That was purple. Her nose went straight for the purple, I'm pretty sure. Okay, wow. <laughs> Thanks, girl. Purple. Purple. Purple eyebrows. Let's just take a moment to appreciate the job. Like so far, so far she's done good. I hope you're as excited as I am to have purple. Can you imagine if the door went? Mm, no, nah, not happening. I'm not answering that door. Oh wow. Kind of digging this. Looking great. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't look great. It does look like ridiculous. But it doesn't look as bad as I thought. Like, I would never go out like this. That, that is not what I'm saying. It's just a bit darker than I thought it was gonna be, so that's good. Looking at the viewfinder, the purple eyebrows don't look too bad. Like, I don't know if it's just because it's quite small, the screen that I'm looking at. Um, yeah, in general, they look like ridiculous, but you know, it could be worse. I am gonna leave the lips just because my lips are so dry at the minute. I think it went okay. I think it went not too bad. All I'm gonna do is take the eyebrows off and do them brown. <laughs> the rest, I, I'm gonna keep. Good job, Rosie. I would go and get her again, but um, I think, I think she's a little bit fed up with me mithering her. So I'm gonna wipe the eyebrows off and take her for a walk as a reward for doing great on my face this morning. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was actually a lot of fun and I'm so glad I did it. I hope you really enjoyed it too. If you did, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and I will see you again very soon, as in like very soon because I'm about to film another video today. Oh yes, I'm back, I'm on it. Okay, I will see you very soon, goodbye.